know if you remember but a few videos back I reacted to this random lost ex-Muslim. <laughs> Well you never guess what, he's only gone and responded <laughs> Now of course your boy tried to reach out to him because I'm just a nice guy So I tried speaking to him on a human level, he was just too triggered me yeah everything I was saying the guy was taking it out and smacking it in my face. So then he goes and does a few videos on me and I'm like this guy is clearly on a flex and not a good flex. First of all what he starts doing is having a go at you lot. The followers are smile to Jannah. Your followers that they should not respond in abusive vile language. Now don't get me wrong if you guys start acting all dodgy I'll obviously tell you. Now I went through the featured comments nothing dodgy was really said apart from the fact that he's lost and he's a funny guy. Then he starts lying and accusing me of doing things that I've never done. You ridicule Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Sikhism then he starts telling me that he's a follower of Christ. I follow the perfect example of Christ and I want to do the right thing before God. Ironically this is just before he starts his roasting session. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not even mad. I actually thought it was rather hilarious and quite entertaining if I may say so. This is how silly you are, you slip up in the end. You, where's your logic in that mate? Are you thick? You're a vile man mate, you're not funny. Vile nonsense that you always do. Open your mind you're walking around with blinkers mate. The thought patterns are deluded. You're disgusting mate in, in his rant, in his clip. It's not even a religion, it's a death cult political ideology of control and dictatorship. Your clip is a joke. Kindergarten clownish joke clip. Then the entertainment level went down when he kept plugging his damn book again and again and again. This book has only been released in June. My book as well. And buy my book. Buy my book. Please buy this book. And ironically this guy's banging on about free speech and he's asking for a public apology from me. And I still want you to make a public apology. You know what? Seen as you've asked me, it goes. Freedom of speech, baby. <laughs> yes, that's right, mate. Freedom of speech goes both ways. Mate, you're accusing Muslims of not being able to take criticism, and here you won't even criticize and you're asking for a public apology. Give me a break. Alright, here I obviously said that he gave me bare jokes in it. Like he was really funny. So he goes trying to make me look stupid. Mate, I don't think I did that yet and I'm gonna end the video with this because after this I don't need to say anything. <sighs> Thank you mate for entertaining me yet again. Classic.